Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Um, Karaka, this is page 74. <clears throat> now, we begin the usage of Krit Pratyayas. So, the next chapter is Vidanta. Um, so Krit Pratyas. The usage of Krit Pratyas takes place when the Kriya requires another Kriya to complete the sense. Uh, basically, in English, we say it uh, indefinite verb, is it? Like infinite verb, right? Infinite verb. One is a finite verb and one thing, another thing is infinite verb. So, the usage of Akhyat Pratyas, however, does not require another Kriya. Therefore, although both Krit Pratyas and Akhat Pratyas are equal in terms of having a connection with the sadhana, karaka, such as the karta and so on, it is said that an Akhyata Pratyas is focused mainly on the Kriya, while a Krit Pratyas is focused mainly on the um, sadhana or karaka. So, basically dealing with the Vidanta Pratyas. Hmm. Kartri Karmano Shashti Krit Yogi when the karta or karma is anukta and connected with the krit pratyaya, it takes a shashti vishnu bhakti. Uh, this is interesting actually. When the karta or karma is anukta and connected with krit pratyaya, so it takes a shashti vishnu bhakti. Some krit sutras have to be mentioned here. For example, uh, the krit pratyaya kti. So this kti, uh, this is one of the kritanta. Pratyayas. So the Krit Pratyakti is applied in um, applied in Bhavi Prayoga and we get Krishnasya Kriti. In these examples, the presence of another Kriya, such as Asti and so on, is understood. Similarly, the Krit Pratyayatril is applied in Kartari Prayoga uh, and we get Leelaya Karta Krishna. Krishna, the performer of past times. But the Visheshana of a Kriya does not take such Shashti Vishnu Bhakti. For example, the Krit Pratyanaka is applied in Kartri Prabhupada and we get Sadhu Pajaka. So, one who cooks well. An example of a Dhatu that takes two karmas is Dogdha Dugdhasya Gavam. The milker of milk from the cows. Some say that only the main karma can take a shishti, uh, Vishnu Bhakti. So, <clears throat> but if we accept that only one karma take, can take a shishti, Vishnu Bhakti, it is proper that the secondary karma of the Guru Hadith should take the shishti, Vishnu Bhakti. So this sutra uh, is basically, uh, is, it's like a continuation of the previous sutras in the sense that we were doing, uh, studying the Dvi Karma Ka Dhatu, right? Uh, where <clears throat> a dhatu can take two karmas. One is primary and another is secondary. And we had a long <clears throat> discussion on that. A couple of sutras uh, for that. So here, <clears throat> this sutra says that if we are to use Vidanta Pratyaya, then either the karma or the karta, which is, whichever is anukta, uh, will take Shashti Vishnu Bhakti. So this Dogdha, this is ending with the Kridant Pratya. Actually, this we will study in the next chapter, how the forms are made, like Dogdha. Uh, here, the word Karta is Kridanta. And Pachakaha is Kridanta. Kritihi is Kridanta. So if you see with all of these Kridanta forms, the words, we have implied mm, Shashti Vishnu. Right. So, uh, we'll study more about this in the commentaries. Why do we say Kriti Yogi? Because when there is connection with the Tadhita Pratyaya, we get, uh, you can leave this one. So in this 
we were actually i mean there was actually mostly the nama the um the noun that we we're talking about so you're saying that the but the krit pratyaya it does always have to do with a verb but the verb may just be asti yeah so kridantas are nouns basically they're not verbs but okay yeah kridantas are nouns okay Uh, somewhere, yeah, somewhere it is said but, that although they are nouns, they act as like verbs. So sometimes we say it like half verb, you know, it has that sense of a verb. Okay. But it's, yeah, but it's a noun, uh, technically. I see. <clears throat> this sutra is an apavad, exception of anukte kartri karne chadatritya. Yeah. And karmani dvitiya. <coughs> The Krit Sutra is mentioned here will be fully explained in the Kridanta Prakarana. Yeah, that's there. Uh, but they are given here because they are necessary for helping the students to understand the Karga. In the example, Krishna Sakriti, the Karta takes a Shishti Vishnu Bhakti. Yeah, because who is the doer? Krishna. So the Karta takes a Shishti because Kriti is a uh, Kridanta. And in the example, Leelayaha Karta, Krishna, the karma, mm, takes a Shashti Vishnu Bhakti. The karma is Leela, right? But the Karta Krishna is Ukta by the Kritpatya thrill. And thus, it doesn't take a Shashti Vishnu Bhakti. Right? Regarding the word Krita Purvi, now we can leave this. A Kriya's connection is of two kinds, Shabdika and Artika. In that regard, when the meaning of the Pratyay which is applied after the Kriya uh, is predominant, the Kriya's connection with another word is Shabdika, meaning it is Saksha, a direct connection. But when the meaning of the Pratyay is secondary, then the Kriya's connection with another word is Artika, meaning it is Tatparya Gamya, distilled from the context. Here, the Krit Pratyay, the ordained after the Dhatapri, is made secondary by the Samas. Uh, this is an advanced stop. Therefore, the connection between the Kriya of doing and the Karma Sushti is different. Um, <coughs> in Sanskrit, um, this Tatparya Gamya, understood from the context, uh, this is something very much like. Coherent, or what do you say? Yeah, it's very much there in the language, uh, especially Sanskrit. Not everything is mentioned. And many things are tatparya gamya. Yeah, they have to be understood from the context. Kartri karmanam praptau kartri shashti va. When the karta and karma <coughs> are simultaneously anukta. Hmm. <coughs> and thus liable to, to take a Shashti Vishnu Bhakti by the previous sutra, the karta only optionally takes the Shashti Vishnu Bhakti. For example, the Krit Pratyaya Ghan is applied in Bhavi Prayoga and we get Govindena Gavam Doha or Govinda se gavam doha. Sorry, gavam. So, you say the milking of the cows by Govinda. So, gavam is shashti, govindena tritya, and one time Govinda the karta takes uh, shashti as well. So, Govinda se shashti, gavam, shashti, and doha is the. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's in Bhavi Prayo. So, Doha. Govinda Se Gavam Doha. <laughs> uh, 
अच्युता अच्युताभ विष्णु निष्ठा दोक्ष जाख दोक्ष चैप्टर कर्ता और Dakrit pratyay shatri and shana are applied in the present tense <coughs> and so on. Uh, I think uh, maybe tomorrow I'll brief you with Dakrit and the you know some pratyay something of it so that it makes more sense. So. The Krit Pratyay Shatri and Shana are applied in the present tense and so on, <coughs> and are called Achitavas. In that regard, Shatri is a Parapada Pratyay and Shana is an Atma Pada. For example, Krishna Kridam Kurvan Asati. Okay, here this Kurvan is actually a Kridanta made from the Dhatu Kri plus Shatri Pratyay. So, and Krishna Kridam Kurvano Asati. Same thing, Kurvano. This Kurvano is Kri plus the Shana Pratyay. <coughs> hmm. So here Amrita tells us how Kurvan is made, uh, and <coughs> yeah this is interesting words ending in an achutab krit pratyay like kurvan kurvana and so on are employed as visheshanas of the karta yeah this is interesting visheshanas of the karta and they are called asamapika kriyas since they require another kriya such as hasati and so on so kridantas are also called asamapika kriya uh, kriyas which don't complete the sense right for example if i say after meeting krishna so krishna militva right in sanskrit krishna militva so after meeting krishna are right? is militva is a kritanta and it's which is also called a samapika kriya it doesn't make complete sense you know <coughs> so yeah <coughs> dushah shaturva but the karma optionally takes a shashti vishnu bhakti if it is connected with the krit pratyay shatri which come up comes after dusha <coughs> so For example, consists of dvishan or consum dvishan. Here, uh, the karma optionally takes shasti, the enemy of consum. Hmm. So tomorrow I'll bring some topic with the kridanta. We'll keep it brief about the kridanta chapter. <coughs> Kridanta is also very nice. Yeah, and it's used a lot. Yeah, very much actually. Anyhow, <clears throat> okay. <coughs> 
Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1. And we are beginning with Chapter 9 today. Next one. Sutta Uvacha. Itibhitaha Praja Trohat Sarva Dharma Vipitsaya. Saton Vinashanam Pragad Yetra Deva Vrat Patat. Sutta Uvacha. Tataha Tadanantaram Praja Trohat Iti Eva Prakarana Pita Krishna. Sarva Dharma Vipitsaya. Sarvesham Dharmanam Vipitsaya. Vidipumichaya. Kurukshetram Pragat Katavan Yetra Yasmin Kurukshetri Devra the Vishnu Patas Sharashayam Apatito Ababat. So Sutta Goswami is saying that thereafter, like you know, we know we have studied the previous section, chapter 8, how those who rel whose relatives were killed in the battlefield so those people were very like angry you know and they had incurred animosity towards pandavas and Maharaj. so in such scenario after that yudhishthira maharaj was quite mm, afraid but fearful like Bhita, it says. <clears throat> so he, Sarva Dharma Vivitsaya, he wanted to um, know, understand, assimilate, hmm, complete religion, let's say. Sarva Sham Dharmanam, or the, the religion, the Dharma of everyone, of one and all. So, in order to know that, in order to know that Kurukshetram Gatwan, he went to Kurukshetra, uh, where <coughs> Bhishma Dev, who is also known as Deva Brata, he was Sharashayaya Patitaha Abhavat. He was lying down on the bed uh, of the arrows. Prithiyartha, this is the meaning. Okay. Is it that he was lying down or he had fallen? Um, Sharashayaya. <coughs> yeah, on the bed of arrows I got. Yeah. Yes, Sharashayaya. Um, Bhavat. If we see, he was made to fall, right? Yeah. But, but it's just like, you know, just now we read in that Vritti. One is Shabdika and one is Arthika. So Arthika is something, you know, we assimilate from the context. It's not literal there. Shabdika is literal okay. meaning. Okay. Yeah, so, so, yeah, Patita here in the sense is lying down, you know, Girawa, fallen, like. Tadate bhatraha sarve sadashvaihi swarna bhushitaihi Anvavachan Pratheir Vipra Vyasa Dhomya Dayas Tata He Vipra Tada Yudhishthir Gamana Kale He Sarve Bhratra Abhimadeha Tata Vyasa Dhomya Dayas Rishayascha Swarna Bhushitaihi Swarna Alam Kritaihi Sadashvai Santa Shrishta Ashwa Yeshu Taihi Rathe Is it Rathe? Yeah, Rathe Anvavachan Yudhishthiram Anu Yehi Okay Oh, Brahmanas, Sutta Goswami is saying to you know, the audience there, the Brahmanas, at that time when Yudhishthira Maharaj was, you know, embarking on his journey towards Kurukshetra, all his brothers, Te Sarve Bhrataraha, Bhim Ityadi, <coughs> and all the sages, Vyasa, Dhaumya, and so on, <coughs> all of them, uh, they followed 
Yudhishthir Maharaj, Maharaj's Ratha chariot, which was um, decorated with, or which was, you know, uh, equipped with horses or shreshta horses or best of the horses who were very well, uh, you know, decorated with ornaments of gold and so on. So this Swarna Bhushitai Sadashvai goes with Rathe. <clears throat> so the sages, the brothers, they were following the Ratha of Yudhishthi Maharaj. And that Ratha was equipped with Ashwas, the horses, the best of the horses, who were Swarna Bhushitai. <coughs> ornamented with the <coughs> ornaments, gold and uh, jewels. <coughs> Okay. Bhagavan api viprashe rathena sadhanam jayaha satair vyarochita dhukha kubera eva gudyakai he viprashe sadhanam jayaha arjunena saha bhagavan api shri krishna api rathena yudhishthiram nvagacha diti shesha tadasa nipa yudhishthira guhyakai parivritai parivritaha kubera eva Anu Gantri bhi. Is it Anu Gantri or Anu Mantri? Anu, anu Gantri bhi. <clears throat> Okay, Anu Gantri bhi. Where Ochita Shushubi. Okay. So, O Brahmana, uh, even the Lord Himself, Sri Krishna Himself, <coughs> also followed Yudhishthira Maharaj along with Arjuna, you know, on the chariot. And uh, at that time, Yudhishthira Maharaj, he was like resembling like Kuvair, who is, you know, accompanied by or surrounded by the Guhyakas. Guhyakas are a kind of, you know, celestial beings on the heaven. So, just like Kuvair, you know, he shines. Um, yeah. <clears throat> surrounded by the Guhyakas. Generally, Yudhishthira Maharaj... At that time, he was, you know, Vyarochita, Shushobha. I'm sorry, so the Guhyakas are, are like his his attendants or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, his attendants. <coughs> like, you know, yeah, so there are different kinds of um, categories or jatis in the heavens also. So Guhyakas is one of, one of them. Drishtva Nipatitam Bhumo Divashit Mivamaram Pranemu Pandava Bhishvam Sanugaha Chakrina Sanugaha Parivara Sahita Pandava Chakrina Shri Krishna Saha Kurukshetram Gatvaiti Yavat Divaha Swargat Chitam Patitam Amaram Devam Iva Bhumo so Pandavas who were present there along with the family, Harivar Saita, along with Sri Krishna, having you know reached there in Kurukshetra, <clears throat> they offered their obeisances, Pranemuhu. Unto Bhishma Dev, having seen him lying down on the bed of arrows, <clears throat> as if Bhuma Amaram Chutam Diva, as if a demigod has fallen from the heavens unto the earth. <clears throat> it the earth. This is the moment. Okay. I didn't do the next one. The next one is like there's been a single unvaya for like four verses or something. Okay. Anyhow. So Bhishma Stuti will be there in this chapter. Bhishma Dev will uh, instruct Yudhishthira Maharaj, Pandavas, especially the Yudhishthira Maharaj. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> we'll resume tomorrow and I'll try to bring some notes on the Kridantas, you know. Just in case, some some, some intro. <coughs> the weather is changing, so just a little cough. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.
Thank you. Thank you.